rapid firing and accurate. Dynamic and maneuverable and also good looking and quite profitable. The new premium Panzer 58 Mutz can be yours for 70k of gold. So yeah, let's take a look at how the tank plays in World of Tanks Blitz. Yes, welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Tankers of Blitz Universe to the channel. It's just too much, too much, too much. It, it's yeah. Let's get it straight out of the way. Uh, this is this is the Panzer 58. Um, comes with a nice camel. It looks really good. It drives around really well. It is kind of like a less armored Indian, but with slightly better maneuver uh, maneuverability. It has a good gun. It makes nice credits, and it is expensive as hell. War gaming. Yeah. Why? I mean, I I know crates make you a lot of money. I know. I know premium tanks make you a lot of money. But come on, 70k of gold for a tier, a premium medium tank, that's that's even more than the K91 was, uh, which was recently for sale. And that was the first time the K91 was available in the game for gold, for just regular money. And that was already wickedly expensive, but this is a whole different level of <laughs> expensive. It's just beyond belief. And I think that's a bit of a shame, really, because the tank itself is not a bad tank at all. You can see it drives around fairly maneuverably. It 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 can't stand anything in terms of uh, tank shooting at you because the armor is just not very good all around. It is a Swiss-made tank, and that meant that it had to be adapted to the Swiss countryside. Lots of hills and mountains and steep angles and inclines and stuff. So they wanted to have a tank, the Swiss army, they wanted to have a tank that was maneuverable and that could cope with their countryside. It was not meant to be a really dogfighting tank. So basically all the armor it has is in the front that is slightly rounded. It has a gun mantlet. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> that really is about it. The tank itself is really good looking. I managed to, uh, or was lucky enough to see it twice at Tankfest. And actually at the tank event in uh, Holland 2. And, and like I said, it's it's really good looking. And I like the tank in game as well. The camouflage scheme with the bear on the turret looks better than, for example, the LP Tiger, which is on console and some of the other gaudy uh, schemes and, and rare epic camouflages, legendary camouflages. This legendary camouflage, I quite like it. Also the details around the grills on the... On the engine deck and, and stuff, I, I like that. A small number plates as well on the fenders, and you can actually see see the exhausts on the fenders sitting there as well with the heat shields on top. There's a bit of black around it, so you can see inside the shields. That that's all really well and good. But yeah, the price tag. That's that's my that's me holding in uh, curse words. But come on, 70k of gold for for uh, just let's face it. Typical medium tank, it, it has some things going for it, it has actually quite a few things going for it, which I like. But all in all, way overpriced. Just way overpriced. I have two more games to show you after uh, we end the statistics on this one. But first of all, let's hop into uh, Tango Pair on Blitz Stars and take a look at them. Because I still want to review the complete tank, you know how I feel about the price tag and crates and everything. Enough said about that, it's way overpriced, I'm not going to say anything about that again. But let's take a look at what the 58 can bring to bear in the fairly large playing field of tier 8 premium medium tanks. And I've selected only a few, but there's uh, even more of them. But if you look at this, above 2k DPM, that's not too bad. That's actually quite good. 212 penetration, that's the best in class combined, I think, with the CDC. And the FCM 50T has 212 as well, because that has the same gun. And if you then look at the weapon handling, well, well, I can live with that. 10 degrees of gun depression, nice dispersion factors, fairly good aim time, not as brilliant as the Panther 8.8 .8 or the CDC, but all in all, pretty, pretty good. I think it's actually funny to see that the CDC with that turret and quite the same gun as a quicker aim time uh, even if it moves around a bit quicker 58 is by no means 
a, a turd to drive around, a slug to drive around, it is quite fast, but the engine is only 600 in terms of horsepower, which gives you a 17.29 power to weight ratio. And that's really good, but it is also fitted on a chassis which has some slabs of armor on the front of 120 millimeters, but the rest is pants. And with the CDC you do get that as well, but that has the really brilliant power to weight ratio to just get away with it. And the Panther 2, the 8.8 for all of its faults, has got a bit of a better armor profile now. It has been buffed as you can see. Super Pershing, let's not talk about that one, that is a hull down monster. And the 59 and the Mod 1, they have that brilliant turret. So, it is a good tank. But I'm not quite convinced that this is a tank that is suited for Blitz in most of the games. I'm going to show you how to play the tank in the next two games. And I'm going to use the Blitz hanger for the armor profile and yeah... It just isn't there. <laughs> it just isn't there. You have some tracks, you have a gun which uh, can bounce, you can fabricate the occasional lucky bounce on these little plates around here on the bits of the turret if you wiggle that around. You have a gun mantle which might work, but that's all situational and you can see 250, that will bounce shots if you catch them on your turret, if you catch them on your front hill, 220, but then again you, you've seen 212 average pen on the MUDs itself, so anything around 200 has really good chances of going through, and the sides are only 30 over here, there's 38 over there, but it's angled. It's an HE magnet, basically. But... Like said, you can get the occasional lucky bounce. <laughs> yeah, and speaking about lucky bounces, um, I'm already laughing at this one. Uh, I played the game on Canyon. This one is from today. And it's also doubly fun because at the end you will see the uh, XP I've gotten, uh, the base XP from this game. And then the next game after this one, the last one of the video, is going to be the, uh, the Ace game. And just just compare the two um, two experience base experience points uh, totals. It, it's it's funny to see. Like that, but good mobility, good gun, no armor, but you do have gun depression. So even if I am a non-armored tier eight medium tank and there's a T95 on the reds and uh, Borsig, I still want to go towards the middle and do the spotting for my team because we've got three tank destroyers as well. And what I'm going to do here is, is be careful. There's only two tanks spotted, two uh, medium tanks, no sign of the big tank destroyers yet. I'm trying to poke over my right hand shoulder towards the sea cap area to see if any of the heavies are uh, popping up over there. We can track this PTA into place then uh, go back again because I am not exposing myself to any other tanks. We don't get a second track shot, that's unfortunate. But there's another tank spotted which is uh, the Bershing and you can see this tank spotted on the top area as well. Wait just a little bit, there we go for the PTA to turn around and then shoot him. And now I've noticed where the T95 is, so that means I'm getting the hell out of there. There's no point for me to just sit there and, and juke it out with the T95. I won't be able to out DPM him unless I manage to go around him. Um, but yeah, the boss, he was still not spotted yet. He is somewhere over there. Can I get a shot off on him? Not available. That means I'm now off to clear the flank. And I'm, this is a hasty shot, but I didn't want to get shot by a T95 in the butt. So we go forward uh, again just a little bit and then clear the PTA. That is a one tank down, it's one on one. I take a quick look around. Notice the T95 is now at, what is it, 156 health left. Don't know what happened, he probably got hammered by the Arc Panther and we have got some more tank destroyers on our team. But it's an easy kill for me and I haven't done a lot yet in terms of damage. I mean, not even 1k. But this is how you should play tanks like uh, the Mutts or like basically any 
lower tier, non-armor tank, and I'm spotted here by the Borsig. Wiggle, 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 wiggle! <laughs> bounce! I don't know where he shot me. I don't know where he bounced. It, was it on my tracks? I don't have damaged tracks. Was it straight on the front? Lower plate, whatever, auto bounce by some miracle. <laughs> but I bounced 640 from a Borsig. Shouldn't have happened. And then this one. Hey, there we go, yet another ammo rack. Cool. Um, it's crappy uh, ammo racks, but hey, you have ammo rack to Panzer II and I have ammo rack an IS-5, so yeah, you can ammo rack in this tank fairly effectively as well. Look on to uh, track the Pershing in place again, and you can also see what's happening here. It, it was starting to look like a game which was very easy, very easy for us, um, but all of a sudden it went to uh, five, uh, 5 a four on three, it is now a four and two. We're going to clear the uh, WZ111 1 4 in a combined effort. I am rushing a few of the shots here. Don't really know where that one went. Should have waited just a bit longer, probably, but wasn't too sure where the Borsig was, if he was rolling up or not. Uh, he wasn't, so we switched to HE. Um, and just keep him spotted now and we're going to take a, a stupid hit from him but we saved our hit points he is still full health as well but there is no way he will be able to out dpm both me and then our heavy tank left and then the Fosh and then the T30 <laughs> that's four health done from Splash with HE but I can shoot him once over there he's repairing his gun again which means he has used his repair packs here we go shoot him in the gun shield again then phase hug Line up the guns <laughs> and can't get them at the bounce. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Feels bad. But he can't repair his gun now. His gun is broken as well. We splash him again with HE. Leave 11 hit points on him. And that means that the Fosh uh, gets the kill on the ball seek. But I think we've done our job on this um, bottom tier game. I mean, it's tier 9 versus a tier 8. But I think we've done our job here. Take a look. Quick note, <laughs> the base XP, 1200 flat. Nice number. But 1200 flat base XP gives me a second class. And that was a game that was played on uh, December 10th, uh, so Monday. The game we're going to watch now on Port Bay is a game which was played yesterday in the MUDs, the Panzer 58 MUDs. This was the first game I played on the tank. This was actually the first game I've played after a weekend off with the family, so sorry about not having a best Blitz replay up. But sorry, but no sorry, not sorry. Had to, uh, had to. We spent some time off with the family, family holidays. Uh, me and my girlfriend went off together with the kids. Uh, nieces there as well. Brothers-in-law, sisters-in-law, parents-in-law. We had a blast, really good week weekend, good to be out of town for a bit, out of blitz for a bit as well. Um, but I do have some recordings saved from update 5.5 still. Uh, I'm looking at 5.6 replays at the moment in my email and on the Discord server and through Facebook as well. So yeah, if you have... Um, my preferred way would be Discord actually, but if you have replays, send them to me. Martin Dogger on a lot of social channels and otherwise Martin Dogger W O T B at gmail.com. Righty, Supremacy on Port Bay. And uh, like I said, this was the first game and I wasn't too happy with what the team was doing. We have two mediums pushing that corner. You can see what's happening there. SCA is saying affirmative. I'm trying to attack this T-44 and the uh, T-49 manages to clear one of the red tanks. We are 1-0 up. But look at what the reds are doing as well. They are pushing tanks beyond C cap. We have our KV-3 capturing uh, A, which is kind of good, but we are getting flanked as well. And then our two mediums managed to park themselves into a massive crossfire. They are just trying to go in there with DPM, I think. The Panther gets killed by the Comet. I've noticed that our tanks pushing in here as well, which means that I had to dive down and try to take care of this T-44, who tried to side scrape out. I could have side scraped there. Didn't do it. I do manage to shoot him once and get shooting him again. Take note of me damage his ammo rack and this tank again. <laughs> Surely ammo rack. I know Vinica. Bit lucky with the ammo rack there, but uh, we survived at 345 hit points left. 
but we are in a bit of trouble here because we have captured A, uh, but our uh, friendly tank destroyer is going down as well, the Helsing. And I'm not able to clear a tank yet, but I'm looking for an easy target, an easy kill. Thank you very much, T29, for being there, making that an easy kill. Where's the Red Ball Seek? That's my main concern now. I want to clear the Panther, but not at all costs, because I'm a one shot to uh, the Ball Seek, and two shots for the Panther, and two shots for the Rudy. So we're going to clear the Panther. The Rudy had gone to off flank. He's behind the building now, as I can see. That over there, I'm not going to uh, attack the Ball Seek, who went back into cover again. And the boss, he comes out, and in a combined effort with the Rudy, he manages to clear my friendly KV-3, which is annoying. But we've managed to put this Rudy down to uh, two shots now, and then uh, goes into the building. I was hoping Auto would connect, but the Rudy is going to push, and we're going to do exactly the same thing again as we did with the boss in the last game. Try to make them face your turret. If you have that angle on your left or right hand side, you might get a bounce. And the Rudy pushed on me, and he made a mistake there. If he hadn't pushed, if he had waited for the ball seek, then he would have been able to clear me easily. It was a 2 on 1. I wanted to have him behind this house. Because in a 1-on-1, -on -one, I was counting right. I might be able to clear him and then survive and say one hit point. I have 176 left instead of just one. But if I would have survived, then I was thinking, right, if I'm still alive, I still have a fighting chance against the boss again. I was hoping he would go towards A and then I was hoping he would capture B and not face my way. <laughs> but uh, he is facing my way, so uh, I'll just bugger off now. I have my adrenaline back. He's not popping off the cap yet. He wants to get B sorted, right? I'm not going over there. I'll get spotted. So I'll just move behind the building over here. And then hope and pray for him to push straight into me. And can I get a shot off? No, not available. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Ooh, run away, run away. No, doesn't catch on way. I was trying to get some sneaky shots in. Um, but again, it is now just a matter of running away. So I'll run away. His camo is probably better than mine, but uh, I have to go away. I have to get unspotted. So let's dive into the A area. If he wants to win, he will have to capture A. Turning around again. Try to see what is happening here. There he is. Oh, can I get a shot? Can I get a shot off? No. Back to AP. He's moving. Ah, into the building again. Nap. Why'd you press fire? He wasn't even there. <coughs> because I'm an idiot. Right. Gotta shoot him again. He pops around the corner. This is going to be very close. Ooh. Ooh, he missed. How? I don't know, but he missed. Right. I'm going to move in. Auto aim and then. Ah. Screw that. Right. Just bounce into him. Adrenaline popping. And we can clear him. Thank you very much for 3055 damage. And one hit point for an ammo rack. And like I said, this was the Mark III. And take a look at the at the base XP. 1217. So this got me an ace <laughs> on Sunday. And on Monday, 1200 was not even enough for a first class medal. But anyways, this was an ace game. Um, so let's wrap up. If you intend, in persist on buying the very much overpriced 58 MUDs, here's my quick summary and how to play the tank. Because overpriced as it may be, the MUDS is still a good all-round support medium tank. Your best asset is the gun combined with good gun depression. And don't be afraid to let your team bleed. You haven't got the armor and they usually have. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, tankers of Blitz Universe. My name is Martin Dogger. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Cheers and happy tanking.